You'll never imagine what people in the comments started fighting about when seeing this aircraft. Operating systems. Supposedly, this one works on Windows. Anyhow, you bet there is more to it than such details. With an operating time of 14 hours, this vertical takeoff and landing vehicle will go explore. Deployed within 14 minutes, even from a ship. When it's done loitering vertically, it switches to horizontal flight. History buffs will surely remember similar constructions created throughout last century. Of course, application in conflict zones is not the only thing it's built for. According to the creators, it can also be used in humanitarian missions and even firefighting. The internet is having a field day joking about how birds are not real, but secret government drones. Well, here is something to add more oil into this fire. Fresh from a Swiss university lab, Meet Raven, before birds could go to places where winged drones couldn't. But that is changing now. Weighing in at just over half a kilogram, it can walk and even hop around and jump high enough to get airborne, albeit a bit wobbly still. If the not fully serious conspiracy theory about all birds being secret government drones has left you curious, check out this animatronic dolphin from Edge Innovation. Would you have guessed it's fake? Just goes to show that anything can be a secret government spy. Just kidding. Now, here is something for DIY fans. <laughs> well, in a way, let us explain. With autonomous landing, takeoff, and navigation, you'll be surprised to hear that this military drone takes only eight hours to produce, and all you need is two containers. The developing company Firestorm is calling it distributed manufacturing. The resulting drones have a two-meter wingspan and can even swap out propulsion systems to extend the range, for example, or to be extra silent. The idea is, frankly, frightening. After all, hiding containers is not too difficult, and each of these pop-up stations can produce around 50 units a month. Hopefully, not all of them in bright orange. Chances are you stumbled across this video on the internet. While initial headlines were fear-mongering, apparently this was only a demonstration for an event company. However, swarms of drones are possible in war zones. And where there are drones, you can bet that there will be companies building protection from them as well. With each shot costing around five cent, the Leonidas uses high power microwave technology and can swiftly take down entire fleets. It can be mounted on virtually any vehicle or as a pod on a drone, drones fighting drones. How ironic is that? Scenes straight out of a science fiction dystopia. Several policemen are patrolling the streets, accompanied by a sphere. Behind it is the Chinese company Logan Technology. And just wait till you hear what it can do. With 35 kilometers per hour, this sphere rolls around on Earth and even in water to identify and immobilize criminal using AI, face recognition, net guns, and, according to some outlets, even tear gas. Of course, the big advantage compared to, say, a humanoid cop bot is the spherical design. It can't be knocked over and it's hard to break it. It can withstand forces of up to four tons. These manufacturers and experts promise to build the boat, build the software, and the autonomy. Texas-based Saronic presented three vessels with diverse jobs for the Navy. They can be dispatched even from air, and once they reach water, they are capable of autonomous path planning, identifying targets such as ships, and can even deliver something, if you know what we mean. According to the CEO of the company, who by the way himself served in the Navy for over 10 years, building autonomous maritime vehicles at scale is what will make a difference in maritime conflicts in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to Unstoppable Gadgets. And if you want to check out some crazy robots, click on the screen for the next video.